Hey everyone, we're in Nicosia today and Nicosia is split into two parts, isn't it? It is. So Nicosia is the last divided city in the world now after 1989 when Berlin was uh, was the second last one as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, but Nicosia is now the, the last one remaining. So we're currently in the southern Cyprus part of Nicosia but we're going to cross the border today and we're going to head into northern Cyprus but it's absolutely gorgeous here and some really amazing sights to see. So we're just going to have a quick look round here before we head over the border. Look at that gorgeous tree, the way it's grown. It's sort of split its branches and it's growing up. It's massive and it's right next to this absolutely giant book. Now I'm not really sure but I think this must be a library. Gary, don't touch it. Good God. <laughs> Look, Pinnell. It's like precious art. Page number was open. Yeah, well, shouldn't really touch it. But uh, it's what's it made out of? Steel. It's, it's, we're just going to head up this street to see the Liberty Monument, but it's a beautiful street. Now, the Liberty Monument commemorates the release of prisoners in 1959. Those prisoners being priests, soldiers, and general civilian population. Now, interestingly enough. The monument was built in 1973, but never officially opened because of obviously what happened in 74. Now it's said that the, the um, structure here will not be officially opened until the Turkish army, which occupies 40% of Cyprus, have left Cyprus. Now the monument itself is supposed to depict how people feel when they're released from prison. But if you just look at these faces, it's absolutely incredible. Oh, and then the sort of young lad who seems to be comforting his, what seems to be his mother or something. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. And right at the top, there she stands, the Statue of Liberty. Coming up to the border area, obviously I won't be able to film the border, but when you've got a hire car, you'll buy insurance. Now, we bought some the other day when Gary had his uh, Turkish shave, and effectively we paid 20 euros for our insurance didn't we and that was for three days um, so it runs out tomorrow we're making the most of it by heading into Kyrenia today we just crossed into northern Cyprus sort of taxis and everything and a couple of ATMs around a beautiful tree lined entry Ooh, it's a bit bouncy in the car now just on the horizon is a massive giant flag that's inside on like it's been etched onto the mountain it's just behind the actual flag. Oh, got the billboards in the way now. Wow, beautiful statue as well on the roundabout. Turn left onto Ogrin Menla Jadesi. Beautiful, there's lots of palm trees. And there's a, a building that looks a bit like a steamboat. We're having trouble finding a bloody toilet and I'm dying for a pee. Gary says, are you peeing in the bush kind of desperate or not? We're in Turkey. I'm like, no, I'm not that desperate. I'd rather pee in the car. And he said, well, you know, I don't want you doing that. <laughs> Honestly, if you see it as well, there's like loads of cars around as well. Imagine doing that. Like, you know, total eclipse of the jeweler. <laughs> This is the sort of bushes he's on about. Like this, like, imagine me trying to hide behind these. <laughs> Spotted a Burger King. We're not going to eat a Burger King. We're just going to borrow your toilet. Wow. We're just coming down through a mountain. And this looks like Kyrenia on the coast. Looks absolutely gorgeous, actually, Bab. Yeah. Straight in front of us. I don't can see it, but it's the castle. You can just see the top of it at the moment. Okay. But that's around, uh, around the marina. Beautiful building. Well, we're going to grab a bit of lunch first, aren't we? Yeah. And uh, we can think straight now we've had a pee. <laughs> Seems cheap. It's 30 Turkish lira, roughly, for a litre by the look of it. We think that works out about 80 pence. Yeah. So it might be well worth filling up, mightn't it, Gary? It might be. Actually, it says there on letter in English, so I won't have any, any problems. So 31.65. So motoring is diesel, so I'll just keep away from that. Cool. Out anyway, fucking excuse Gary's fucking swearing. <laughs> <laughs> My impression of Kyrenia was that it was just sort of a little beach town, but it's absolutely massive. That looks like a big car park there, Gary. Down here. Oh my gosh! Oh wow, look at the sculpture there. It's birds. Oh, I really like that. Okay, well, to try and find somewhere to park. Oh, that's designed with peacock feathers. There's peacocks in it. That's beautiful. 
just come from the car park now. We can see the harbour there. Uh, it's beautiful down here. This is the old town. And then there's a, a fountain. It's a very old fountain. By all accounts, it's kind of been uh, conservation works, the, uh, the two fountains, project funded by the EU in April 21. Not much has happened with that money, I can assure you. Look at the state of it. There's a statue of a guy with his dog, isn't there up there, Gary? Yeah, with a basket. Of his really feet. lovely up the side streets. We just passed the Kyrenia Palace. I think it's a hotel, is it, Gary? I think it is, yeah. There's a mosque here with the minaret up there. We're going to go and find something to eat down by the harbour, I think, aren't we? Yeah. So we found a nice little fish restaurant right on the harbour. Um, I didn't really want fish, so I feel a little bit like we stopped at the first place, didn't we? We didn't look around. <laughs> So I've ordered a chicken sheesh, and what have you ordered? Seafood spaghetti. He's got a seafood spaghetti. I really didn't want seafood because we're having salmon tonight. Um, but anyway, it's got a nice atmosphere. I just felt you feel mega rushed when you come to these places to order, don't you? Like the menu's there under the. Do you want a salad with it? Do you want a salad with it? It's a bit of a hard sell. And we've got sparkling water. We're not drinking at the moment. We'll tell you what it's like when it comes. We've noticed a couple of stray dogs actually that are hanging around. Yeah, well, this, certainly with this, this type of, well, around this area, there seems to be a lot of stray dogs. They look quite well fed, so I think people are, are quite big, those two dogs over there. Yeah, they? Are they strays, do you reckon? Yeah, he was shooing them away before, so they must be. Oh, gosh. So we've got a lovely side salad of tomato and onion salad. How gorgeous does that look? Oh, this looks good. There's my chicken sheesh and Gary's seafood platter with spaghetti. Yeah, we're quite happy with this, aren't we, Bab? Oh, yeah, very good. So if you need a toilet, if you need a toilet here, you have to, you have to come to the ones that are sort of up the hill a bit. The communal they, toilets. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a bit grim. I mean, it's not the worst ones I've been to because I have been to some sort of like camping places all over the world. But my God, that's a bit... <laughs> I walked in and just saw the hole in the floor that is the toilet. <laughs> oh, we actually had a toilet, but believe me, <laughs> it was really toilet? grim. Yeah, it was really grim. And you, could, you can't lock the bloody doors. I don't understand what that's all about. But what I do know, as soon as I walked out, Gary was laughing and holding hand sanitizer. <laughs> so this is how much my husband knows me. I was like, oh God, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> but the restaurant was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, the food was great, wasn't it? And we're going to have a little walk around now. Absolutely gorgeous harbour down here. Yep, there's some stray dogs here. This one's hanging around the restaurant that we've just been sitting at. Here he is. He's quite a lovely dog, actually. Hello, boy. Oh, I think he's probably well fed. Hi. <laughs> oh, said a little lick. <laughs> so here's a party ship coming in. They've got music playing and everything. It's really quite lovely down here. Oh look, it's another. Oh, there's another stray. It's a little sausagey dog, isn't it? Oh, he's really cute. Hi, gorgeous. <laughs> he's very cute, isn't he? Oh, look at him. Wow, that's a great view. Look at all the mountains in the background as well. And there's the castle. And there's where we had our lunch, just over there. So that must be the ferry. Get the ferry from Turkey to here. Oh, you get the ferry from Turkey to here? What, yeah. it lands in Kyrenia? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Or Gurn as it's known. Yeah. Wow. It's really beautiful here. An amazing castle as well. Mm, mm. God, Gary's going up the bloody wall. Be careful, Babs. I don't think you're supposed to go on it. No, th uh, you're not. I'm not going anywhere near it, well, apart from to go What's well, just down there, just the sea? Just the sea, yeah. Oh God, be careful. It's like picture perfect, isn't it? That's beautiful, isn't it? And if you just, if you can see, the mountains are really close to where the town is. So we sort of almost drove through the mountains to get here. You've got your castle, the walkway. This is Kyrenia Harbour. It's lovely. And what a beautiful day as well. Just past this jewellery shop and look at that crocodile ring or alligator ring. I think you'd probably quite like that, wouldn't you, Gary? It's a bit. <laughs> it's a bit gay. I don't know whether it's for a woman or a man. I mean, I wouldn't wear it. Put it in the comments, would you wear it? <laughs> Valentine's Day is obviously pretty big here. Look at all these, Gary. Ways to show me you love me. So that's a hundred. So that candle there is £2.50. Hundreds roughly about two fifty. Little teddy bear candles. Homemade with love. 
So, I suspect you've already got in mind what you're getting me, haven't you? Well, there's loads of knives there. What about one of them, babes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite a good idea, actually, Gary. Think what to do with it now. Mm. How lovely is this? I think it's a gift of a tree. I'm not quite sure what it says. But um, there's also one of those fantastic sculptures of somebody sitting on a chair. I love those. Someone's next to it at the moment. That's a great one, Gary. How fabulous this is this. This is brilliant. This is right next to where the tree is. I like this. This is um, just pigeons around a fountain, but the fountain's minging and it absolutely stinks. So it's a bit out of season for that to be working. But this is a great square and we're parked literally, I think just down that road there, aren't we, Gary? Yep, down there about a couple hundred metres. And we're going to head off from here now. We're just leaving Kyrenia and up on top of the mountain there's a silhouette. It's amazing, isn't it? I don't really know what it means. So we're just having a quick stop in a supermarket while we're here, just to see how cheap the prices are. But actually it's quite comparable to England and, and southern Cyprus to be fair. There's a big massive sort of olive oil, no just normal oil, sunflower oil. Big massive thing of sunflower oil, 120 Turkish lira. Which that's what? That's uh, about two pounds seventy. That's quite good. Yeah. It's a massive bit of. That's massive as well. Washing powder seems cheap though. That looks like it's a hundred um, Turkish lira, which is roughly two pounds fifty. Very cheap. And these go down to seventy nine, which is about two pounds. Excellent. No, I don't think that's on purpose, <laughs> but that is incredibly phallic. <laughs> these aren't bad though. Got little coffee cups, 36 there each. 109 for the coffee set, £2.50. Not bad. Oh, they've got ones with Cypress written on Gary. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah, We've just crossed over and the sky is beautiful, but look at the queue to get over to Northern Turk, Northern Cyprus. Gosh, it's been going on for ages. There was a lovely time up there, but we're exhausted now. It's only about five o'clock in the evening. What a sky though, what a colour. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give us a like and a comment. It really helps the channel to grow. Um, we'll see you next time. We don't know where we're going to be, but uh, we're heading back to the UK soon and we will be doing a massive tour of Europe very shortly. So stay tuned if you want to watch all of that. Thanks guys.